Hi, this is Billy Joe. So, this pick a card reading is messages from your love, your person, your significant other. <laughs> you may be twin flames, you may be high level soulmates, you may just be someone that you are in a relationship with, it may be someone who is an ex. We'll look and see. So, I have three piles for you. Pile number one is with the raw Laramar. Pile two is with the Lepidolite, and Pile three is with the Pyrite. The decks that I'm using is the Enchanted Tarot, the Enchanted Love Tarot, sorry about that, the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck, the Romance Angels Oracle deck, Queen of the Moon Oracle deck, and last but not least, the Journey of Love Union cards by Bridget Rowe of Divine Essentials. So, if you need more time, you can go ahead and pause the video and get started with those that picked, chop, up, chose pile number one. Okay, if you chose pile option number one with the Raw Laramar. This is your message. Now remember to only take the messages that messages that resonate with your situation. Do not ever force it to fit, okay? And if none of it resonates, then it just wasn't your message. Okay, let's look and see what cards you have. From the Enchanted Love Tarot, we have Eight of Shells. The Devil. Princess of Gems. To clarify the Eight of Shells, we have number six, Harmony. Clarifying the Devil, we have the number two, Sacral Chakra. Clarifying the Princess of Gems, we have the number six, Material and Spiritual Prosperity. From the Romance Angels, we have romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring from the queen of the moon oracle deck we have the number 18 for pleasure from the journey of love union cards we have the number 23 for forgiveness please forgive me and the last card is uh, the number 12, I'm so cold without you, warmth. Okay. So, let's see here. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to do this like I'm talking in the first person, like I'm directly reading a message to you or telling you a message or talking to you usually i do my readings in the third person but i'm gonna try to do it in the first person so let's see here <sighs> to my angelic most sovereign queen i've discovered many things about myself recently through the darkness of my shadow I have learned about self-forgiveness and balance. I am sprouting into the awareness of self-love and self-nurturing that ultimately will one day bring us into harmony. I see where I've been seduced and tempted with sex and limiting behaviors. I have made too many sacrifices and I've often settled for less. Your love that continually covers me with healing light has helped me to grow, heal, and prosper. You continue to stay true to our connection and support me in your loyal and practical ways. I adore you. I cherish you. And I desire to explore our connection 
on a more deeper, more intimate level. I open myself to the pleasure of your love and choose happiness. I choose you. You continue to send love and light, yet your physical absence is truly felt. Please forgive me. Only your warmth can chase away the cold loneliness of my heart and soul. Love, your forlorn addict. So, <laughs> I hope that resonated. I hope y'all enjoyed that. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave some feedback. I love to read your stories. Have a great day. I'm fixing to go on to those that chose pile number two. Okay. Hello, y'all. Those that picked pile option number two with the Lepidolite. So this is your reading. Now, I am going to try and read this in the first person. Usually, I do the readings like in the third person. Remember to only take the parts that resonate and just throw out the rest. If none of it resonates, then, you know, just... It may just not be the reading for you, okay? So, also, I read like it's a man to a woman or whatever. Just, it, if that's not how it resonates for you, just, may, you know, whatever. <laughs> I do, That's just how I read. Okay, so, <laughs> so, let's see. From the Enchanted Love Tarot, we have the Nine of Gems. The Prince of Roses, the Empress, to clarify the Nine of Gems, we have the number seven, Stand Your Ground, to clarify the Prince of Roses, we have the number four, Heart Chakra, to clarify the Empress, we have the number three, Partnerships and Alliances. From the Romance Angels, we have Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. And then from the Queen of the Moon Oracle cards, we have the number 15 for Action. And from the Journey of Love Union cards, I have two of the cards. It says, number 44, Dreams. I'm so proud of you. And then your last card is the number 16, You're the One, Love. Okay. Let me just try to focus on these cards here. My awe-inspiring goddess, look at you. I am captivated, captivated by your transformation. You have worked so hard on yourself, and it shows. You've become independent and self-reliant. You've stood your ground, walked your truth, and found your voice. You've embraced your goddess through your own understanding of your worth. You've made good use of your experiences and turned them into soulful lessons. You've learned to be less serious, more outgoing, and spontaneous. Your youthful and romantic spirit captivates me. Your loving, radiant energy has bewitched me. You are creative, nurturing, and so amazingly beautiful. You are the epitome of love, peace, and harmony. You are more alluring than the most fragrant, fragrant bouquet of roses. You are my empress. 
and I want to be your emperor. I am ready to take action. Allow me to nourish your blossoms with fun and playfulness. I am so proud to call you mine. You're the one I want forever. Lovingly, forever yours. Okay, I hope that resonated. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up. Leave your feedback. Hope to see you next time. Moving on to those that picked pile three. Okay, hello. Those of you that chose option number three with the pyrite. So, I'm going to try and channel this like a love letter to you. So, I'm going to try to do it in the first person. I usually do readings in the third person. But, um, yeah, let's just try to do this. So, just remember to only take parts of the message that resonates. And if none of the message resonates, then that's okay. Maybe it just wasn't the message for you this time. And um, just know I always read like I'm talking to females, uh, you know, the, fem the feminine energy. So just take it how it resonates. So from the Enchanted Love Tarot, we have the Two of Gems. The Chariot, the Seven of Shells, clarifying the Two of Gems, we have the number Seven, Deception and Envy, clarifying the Chariot, we have the number Three, Solar Plexus Chakra, Clarifying the Seven of Shells, we have the number 17, Hope. From the Romance Angels Oracle Cards, we have, well, you actually, you have two of them. Most of the, the other decks only had one. We have Unrequited Love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Then you have You Deserve Love, You Are Lovable. From the Queen of the Moon Oracle deck, we have the number six for self-love. And then two cards from the Journey of Love Union cards. I have the number 43, Jealousy. I've been watching you. And the number 17, Balance and Imbalances. I need to express myself. So, let's see here. Let me just try and get the energy here. To my brilliant star, I know I have behaved shady and sneaky. I have not taken our connection seriously. Instead, I focus my attention on keeping my options open in regards to love and relationships. Instead of giving you my all, I've spread my time to many. I've juggled my responsibilities, my priorities, and even women. But I can no longer procrastinate. I am ready to embrace our happiness and give up all the others. I know I've made choices that have hurt you, and I've gone out with a lot of others, but I am now ready to separate and embrace the one from the many illusions of possible maybes. It is my hope that you forgive me for making you feel unloved and unappreciated. You are so worthy of gratitude. You are worthy of respect. You are worthy of love. The radical self-love 
that you have for your own body, mind, and spirit empowers you and radiates the most attractive vibration. The admiration you are attracting is triggering my jealousy and I cannot control my obsessive drive to spy on your social media. <sighs> Please forgive my ability to express my inability to express my heartfelt emotions. I'm working on this. I'm working on healing everything broken inside me. Everything broken and everything out of balance as your brilliant light draws me closer to you. Love forever, regretful. Okay, that was a really heavy energy right there. So, um, if it resonated, please give a thumbs up. Give me your feedback. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you next time. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure to hit the subscription button and the notification bell. Thank you so much. You have a great day. Bye-bye.